Hey moms, it's Carolyn from Homesteading Family and today we're going to be talking about how to manage your home when mama gets sick. You know, um, it's great when there's another adult in the house that can take the children and take the household so that mama can get to bed and get the rest that she needs. But sometimes that's a luxury that we just don't have. And in this season where sickness looks like it's going to invade our households, um, I thought it'd be really good to take a few minutes to talk about how to manage a household when mama is the one that gets sick. Maybe mama and children, which makes it even more challenging. I'm gonna give you some of my tips that I've used throughout illness when I haven't had help at home and uh, you know, these are the same tips that I've used for really bad morning sickness uh, when I just feel like I can't even move and um, still have a household to run. So number one is to focus on resting as best as you can. Make your day about resting. Yes, you need to get up and do things, but you need to remember to focus on getting yourself well. You're gonna be a lot more effective in the long run if you take a few days at a really, really low level, easy pace, as easy as you can take it, focus on getting yourself the rest that you need and um, the care that you need, even if you have to give it to yourself. And then getting yourself back up to you know 90%, 95%, maybe even 100%, and then you're off and running. You're gonna be a lot more effective that way than just trying to limp along for a week or two, drawing out an illness because you didn't get the rest that you need. So as soon as possible, focus on getting yourself rest. Now, rest for a mom who's running a household with children in it looks a lot different than rest for somebody who can just go to bed and take a nap for most of the day, which would be a wonderful thing to do when you feel ill. But again, that's just something that a lot of us can't do. So we need to arrange our days in a way that we can still get some things done, but still be focused on the rest. The way that I find this um, works the best if you're the one who's having to watch children at home is to arrange your resting spot on a couch or some central location where you can rest while still watching the household. Um, sometimes it's easier to have sick children at the same time that mama's sick because you can all just rest together and spend a lot of time cuddling. One way or another, this is a great time to spend time uh, looking at books with children, um, reading books to children if you feel well enough to do that and your voice is strong enough to do it, maybe watching some extra TV with children, movies, educational series. I've got a few that I absolutely love. Um, Tales from the Green Valley is one if you can find that. It's a great historical homesteading series. Absolutely love it. Uh, and some of the farm series like the Victorian farm, the Edwardian farm, or the Tudor Monastery farm. So educational, so interesting, and um, yet they're a really easy pace, easy to watch when you're not feeling well. So it's a great thing to do. Go ahead and get a little extra education, a little extra TV time while you're feeling sick, and give yourself the allowance to do that. Take the break that you need to take with that. One of the things that I have found the most effective is to really prioritize my day for things that just have to get done. People have to eat. That is the number one priority in my home when I'm sick. I know right off that I need to provide or make sure that there are three meals in the day. Whether you have convenience meals in your freezer or on hand, that's a great thing. Or whether somebody can pick something up for you, that's a great thing too, but sometimes you actually have to make the meals that you need. Especially in the environment we're in right now, you may not be able to run to the grocery store or even you may not wanna ask people to run to the grocery store for you to pick up convenience items. So that means you have from the time the household wakes up in the morning until you know noon to figure out what you're gonna have for dinner and get up and get that in a crock pot um, or something very easy. It can be a very, very simple meal. Rice cooked in chicken broth is 
totally acceptable when you're sick if that's what you need to do. If you can add some veggies to it, you can add some meat to it, that is amazing and a great thing. And that is good enough, moms, if you're not feeling well. But just make sure that you make a priority out of getting people fed for the day or provided for one way or another for the day. Uh, a lot of times I find it most effective to um, get up in like five minute bursts. So I'll tell myself and even the, the household, the kids, if there's kids sitting around sick, okay, we're going to rest for 30 minutes on the couch, not do anything. And then we're going to get up for five minutes and do something. I find that that works really well because everybody can jump up. You can usually muster enough strength, even if you're really sick, to get up and do five minutes of something. So first five minutes, make sure you're dealing with the meals that you have to deal with. Um, maybe that'll take you a few rounds of five minutes to get through preparing a simple dinner and a lunch if you need to provide people lunch. After that, in order of priority for my household would be to keep the dishes going. So I get up and do about five minutes worth of rinsing dishes, get them in the dishwasher or hand washing dishes. And you'd be surprised how much you can get done in five minutes if you know that you get to sit down and take a break. That just keeps uh, something to eat on fresh and it makes sure that you don't get so far behind that it's overwhelming by the time you are starting to feel a little bit better. You wanna make sure that you don't uh, start feeling better to a mountain of dishes. After dishes, the priority for our household is to tidy up around the house. Just keep things from falling apart. You know if you have children how quickly a house can become a disaster. However, if you have children who are there and able to help you, then the house can get picked up really quickly too. Several people working for five minutes can actually tidy up a house pretty quickly. Not clean it, but at least get it tidied up, especially one room. If y'all focus on one room, kind of a main room or two of the house, within five minutes, a couple people can clean it up really quickly. And then third for, or last for me, I think that's fourth actually, is laundry, keep the laundry going. So if I can do those four things in a day, keep people fed, um, keep the dishes done, keep the house just basically tidy and keep the laundry cycling, then, you know, the house is gonna go ahead and keep running. I may not have everything done that I'd like to have done. It may not be in a state of getting better, but at least it's not gonna fall completely apart while you're needing to rest. You can effectively do those things with only about half an hour of work if you use your mind and you've got the ingredients on hand for some really, really simple meals. Again, things like rice, um, potatoes, use your chicken broth or your beef stock or your vegetable stock to make just a really simple meal based around those things. Use the crock pot, use the Instapot, use whatever tools you have on hand and um, just get some things into a Dutch oven is another way and stick it into the oven. Uh, you'd be amazed at how a simple meal like that can do wonders for feeding your family without a lot of work, without a lot of cost and um, you'll be surprised on the other side of five minutes how much you can get done. Take care, moms. Make sure to give yourself a lot of grace. Take care of yourself if you're sick. It's hard for us moms to prioritize taking care of ourselves, especially if other people are sick in the house. Make sure that you take time to take care of yourself too, um, or have somebody take care of you if you have that option, because your household needs you. They need you to get well and they need you to feel well. Take care.